Hello and welcome. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines have been instrumental in protecting people against the virus, but recently there have been reports of rare complications like myopericarditis, a type of inflammation of the heart. Myopericarditis following vaccination was first reported in 1957 following smallpox vaccination. In the past, it has also been reported after other vaccinations like inactivated influenza, diphtheria, tetanus, polio, and human papillomavirus. The U.S. Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System reported a 0.1% incidence of post-vaccination myopericarditis before COVID-19. However, post-vaccination surveillance and case reports have identified this as a complication of the mRNA COVID-19 vaccines in early to mid-2021. While the exact mechanisms underlying mRNA vaccine-induced myopericarditis have not been fully understood, various hypotheses suggest a hyperimmune response similar to the multisystem inflammatory response seen in children with COVID-19, molecular mimicry between antibodies generated against SARS-CoV-2 spike protein and a self-antigen, or aberrant induction of apoptosis with subsequent inflammation. The incidence of vaccine-induced myopericarditis is low, with estimates ranging from 4 to 29.8 cases per million doses of mRNA vaccine. The condition has been found to occur more commonly in males aged less than or equal to 40 years following the second dose, and the highest risk is in male recipients aged 16 to 19. However, there is no current evidence that individuals with pre-existing cardiovascular disease or even prior myopericarditis are at increased risk. The clinical manifestations of vaccine-induced myopericarditis can range in severity. Symptoms typically occur within seven days post-vaccination and include chest pain, fever, malaise, dyspnea, palpitations, and syncope. While most cases are mild and resolve within seven to 14 days, some cases can be severe, leading to heart failure, ventricular fibrillation-induced cardiac arrest, and sudden death. When evaluating suspected vaccine-induced myopericarditis, a full diagnostic workup should be done to exclude acute COVID-19 infection, as well as other infectious and non-infectious causes. This workup includes a full blood count, inflammatory markers, ECG, echocardiography, cardiac MRI, and chest X-ray. Patients with acute myocardial ischemia post-vaccination are more likely to be older, male, and present 24 hours after the first dose. Myocarditis can be diagnosed with clinical symptoms and changes on ECG, echocardiography, troponin, or cardiac MRI. Elevation of troponin is present in most cases, and MRI abnormalities are evident in most patients across case series. While endomyocardial biopsy is not required for diagnosis, it may show endointerstitial edema, together with infiltration of T-cells and macrophages. The management of suspected mRNA vaccine myopericarditis should be overseen by a cardiologist and other specialists. Symptomatic patients with a high suspicion of myopericarditis should be hospitalized for monitoring. In cases where investigations show no significant abnormalities, patients may be discharged after a cardiologist's review. While there are no controlled trials on treatment, published case reports show good results with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, colchicine, and steroids in standard doses. In the case of heart failure, arrhythmia, or hemodynamic instability, for steroids, for immunoglobulin, and supportive measures may be considered. Restriction of strenuous physical activity and competitive sports is recommended until symptoms and ECG changes resolve. After being diagnosed with vaccine-associated myopericarditis, patients may worry about the potential long-term outcomes of the condition. However, the good news is that the outcome of vaccine-associated myopericarditis appears to be favorable, with or without treatment. Symptoms usually resolve within seven days, but in some cases, clinical features can persist for several weeks. Most patients who require hospitalization are discharged within one week, and repeat ECG plus echocardiography and blood tests show resolution of abnormalities. However, there is still little evidence to date regarding long-term outcomes. Most guidelines recommend specialist follow-up for at least 12 months. 
For patients with persistent arrhythmia, LV dysfunction, or persisting cardiac MRI abnormalities, ongoing monitoring is necessary as per the treating cardiologist. Therefore, it is important to seek medical attention if you experience symptoms of myopericarditis after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine, and follow up with your healthcare provider for proper management and monitoring. Thank you for taking the time to learn with us today. If you have received a COVID-19 vaccine and experience any of these symptoms, seek medical attention immediately. Remember, the benefits of getting vaccinated against COVID-19 outweigh the risks associated with complications like myopericarditis. Please share this video with your colleagues, subscribe to our channel, and give us a positive evaluation. We hope to see you soon in our next video.